Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 9. Okay, in the previous episode we had a Saber centric episode. Uh, the first we met Saber Lion, uh, Lancer was fed to it. <laughs> and then uh, we had a long section of Saber going, uh, taking up a part time in the maid cafe, uh, not maid cafe, sorry, in the, in the cafe. So in the coffee shop, yeah, it was the coffee shop, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, in the coffee shop where you know like she does her own thing uh, at the beginning she was kind of trying to do her job properly but then in comes Gilgamesh and he starts uh, not only Gilgamesh like all all a lot of like you know people starts coming in like giving unreasonable uh, demands and requirements and she was like yeah enough is enough let me turn into my alter mode she <laughs> pulls off her uh, ahoge and yeah she becomes maid alter and now everyone starts feeding her <laughs> it was it was a, like you know completely wild episode where saber was basically uh, like ordering everyone and everyone was like you know like <laughs> doing whatever that she said gilgamesh we saw a completely new side to gilgamesh as well but when she, when in the end saber comes back home uh, she, as soon as she sees <laughs> shiro <laughs> she could turns back to her original form and we see her like you know actually doing that for uh, earning money to buy Shiro a present which was a pressure cooker which will obviously be used to make food for her so everyone wins by the end <laughs> it was a great episode so yeah let's see what this episode brings this is episode number nine so yeah let's get started with this one so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> um, a phone. The phone is ringing. <laughs> What? Wait, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Hmm. I've never heard of an enjoyable nightmare. Okay. okay i wonder what this episode is about um this episode 9 9 10 11 12 including this there are four more episodes left so i'm i'm guessing there are a few things that is still left that i remember um uh, that uh, the race is still left uh then there's that the dating episode where <laughs> shiki and shiro tries to like you know like appease each and every girl and unfortunately they fail that one is left these two are left and i don't remember any other like you know what the other episodes have i forgot but yeah let's see Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this is. Fifth say <laughs> Holy Grail War World Championship. Oh, there you go. This is the race episode, isn't it? I think? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh my god, I remember parts of this. Explanation kire kotome commentate taiga.
All right, let's see. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, oh, Buzzet is here as well. Buzzet and Karen. <laughs> you didn't get money. <laughs> Classic car. Oh, this one. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, they cut him off. Bicycle? <laughs> A plus. <laughs> Wild animal. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this one. Oh. I still remember this. <laughs> the bazaar. <laughs> Wait, is that? Was that Shiki? I'm talking about Karno Kyoka Shiki. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Whoa, save it. Oh, okay. But <laughs> nah, you. <laughs> As always. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. One is out of the race. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what the? Oh. Oh, uh, they have some other plans. <laughs> uh, wow, good I good decision. Oh my god, Sasaki. <laughs> it comes with a truck. <laughs> oh my god. You're a very bad driver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. First is assassin. <laughs> Drive safely. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Wait, is, is he talking to the temple? <laughs> well, you, you already live together. What are you even saying? Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Bazaka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is kind of like an um, uh, Prismalia reference, wasn't it? Whoa! Oh, I was wondering where Gilgamesh was. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Oh great! Wow! Okay. So, the bike's name is Enkiru. Okay. Oh my god, Gilgamesh again defeats Ilya. Ah. <laughs> you don't follow the rules. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Oh my god. So wait, so two of them are only left? Wait, oh, oh I've, I've completely forgot about her. <laughs> well, her riding skill is A+, plus, so, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Risk was scary. Okay, is there anyone left? I don't think so. Only these two. Oh wait, they, they were not out? Whoa, where did he get so much money? <laughs> where, where is he getting them that, that much money? Oh. A sacrifice that must be made. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the... <laughs> Okay, they won. They were won. <laughs> okay, here we go. The Holy Grail. Okay, what will they wish upon the Grail? Okay. Okay, what was the dream? Um, the wish. <laughs> wow. Grail gun. Oh, wait, this is a Dor Doraemon reference, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. <laughs> Friend maker. Hands you a knife. <laughs> wow. Okay. My God. That was good. Oh. That. Yeah. That was the Doraemon reference. Um. The la ending. Um. Say hi, Kun. The way Nobita always comes like Doraemon. Doraemon. What should I do? And Doraemon brings out a gadget. And oh my God. Yeah.
okay so this was that episode uh which i was actually waiting for for quite a while um the the race episode i i love this episode uh like you know even when i watched it for the first time it was it was amazing so i kind of remembered a few stuff but i forgot who won and what happened all the intricate details i forgot but here we go again i i remember now everything and here now when i watched <coughs> this for the first time i completely i wasn't able to understand the enkidu like, like you know the the that reference like the you know like gilgamesh's uh, motorbike is called enkidu and i wasn't i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to relate to that at that moment because i was very new to fate now since i'm more accustomed to everything and you know like i play fate grand order and stuff uh so yeah i was able to understand that whole thing so these like these type of small little things I'm sure I missed a lot of things when I watched uh, Carnival Phantasm for the first time because I was very new to the Fate franchise. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Wait. What lolly reversion? Okay. All right. This episode. Um, this was episode number nine, and yeah, as I was saying, um, I was waiting for this episode from for quite a while, and here we got it. Now, <coughs> again, like you know, we had this kind of a thing before as well, where like you know, it they they kind of. Where Bazakar, you know, uh, Kun went on an errand and he unknowingly defeated all the other servants and won the Grail. And here we go again. Here was another thing like that. The Grand Prix, um, you know, like the race, uh, where which is basically which was basically the Holy Grail War. <laughs> all the servants and their masters participated, and Shiro was like, you know what? It's good that we don't have to fight to death and she he's true like you know correct you know like <laughs> if this was the holy grail war how good it would have been you know like no one nobody would have had to die and yeah but <laughs> that's not how reality works so anyways uh so here we see all the different um teams uh they okay they uh draw lots and the different characters get different um cars rin gets a foreign car yeah you need to get money uh so it's chiro and uh, media gets the classic car lancer gets the gay ball car <laughs> shinji and medusa gets the um bicycle and uh shido and uh saber gets the toy mm, toy lion or whatever uh Ilya gets bazaar you know <laughs> my, like my, that that pun was so amazing I, I i still remember it after six years <laughs> the whole bazaar thing my god that that i i when i saw this for the first time i i remembered it from that episode and i've still not forgotten it <laughs> it was it, it caught me off guard like you know when i watched it for the first time i was laughing like you know and <laughs> yeah that was that was great okay anyways uh we get uh the match uh the match starts lancer as always dies in the uh well, almost at the beginning <laughs> and uh <laughs> so children media goes away somewhere on their you know honeymoon or whatever and they uh Substitutes in Sasaki Kojiro. Kojiro was winning, but in the end, uh, Basaka <coughs> defeats uh, Soichiro. And the funny thing here is, like, not funny, but it's kind of sad if you think about it, is that um, Ilya, in this as well, Ilya goes out of the match just because of Gilgamesh. Like, you know, Gilgamesh comes in and defeats Ilya, just like, you know, like Unlimited Blade works and how like you know gilgamesh killed Ilya. 
that thing. So here again, the same thing happens where basically Gilgamesh comes in and just destroys her <laughs> uh, using um, his bike, Enkidu. And uh, yeah, now, as I said, like, and I, I, I'm sure I, I'm sure I wasn't able to get this reference before when I watched it for the first time, because I, at that time, I didn't even know who Enkidu was. But now I understand <laughs> what it was about. And uh, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, like, you know, there's like this huge, like, you know, neck to neck battle was happening. Uh, oh, uh, in the middle of it, Ryder tries to get, like, you know, like past them because her riding skill is A. plus. Unfortunately, um, they fly, like, you know, <laughs> gave a little bit too speed. So Gilgamesh, Archer, and uh, Saber. These three, these three were the only ones left by the end. And just like the original timeline, how Shiro won the Holy Grail, this time also, you know, Arthur and Shiro won the Holy Grail. And Shiro basically won because of his, <coughs> his ability, his, uh, you know, the, the trace on that he did by the end of it. He won because of that. Otherwise, Gilgamesh would have probably won. <laughs> But yeah, and in the end, the, the 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 wish that they come up with is like, yeah, like give give me our give us our money back because we'll otherwise we'll have to eat um ochazuke. <laughs> and so wait, so I, so what was the point of this even? You know, like I'm I'm sure like you know Saber probably just uh, participated in this um Grail War because she probably wanted food or something. You know, she thought that, oh, um, I'll, I'll wish upon the Holy Grail to give me unlimited food or something. I'm sure she thought of something like that. So she, I'm, I'm sure she, that's why she participated in this. And by the end of it, he, she just, like, you know, <laughs> asked for the money back. So nothing happens. Like, it's, it was useless. So kind of, <laughs> kind of funny if you think about it, because by the end of, like, you know, like the original timeline, um, <clears throat> the same thing also happens with uh, fate, uh, you know, in, in the original fate, where basically by the end of it, like the Holy Grail is like you know, like it's, it's, it's not used, and nothing changes. That, like you know, like so, <laughs> net result was zero. So here as well, in a way, no one gets any wish. You know, no one gets their wish fulfilled. So yeah like now here's one thing um oh but yeah i remember i was going to say that uh like all the time we have seen uh the holy grail you know some way or the other the holy grail was either destroyed or <coughs> not used or <coughs> did not win this and that you know so i was, I was going to say that uh, like was there any instance when the any wish like you know any master who won the holy grail war they really asked for a wish like yeah i want this was there any instance like that before and but th then i to realize that yeah like even if someone actually wished for something like that um the holy grail which as we know does stuff in a very twisted manner uh like you know if you ask uh to uh you know like if you say that oh i uh what was the wish that uh kotomine uh, not kotomine sorry uh kiritsugu made in his dream i think um what was that he dreamed about a boat or something yeah yeah i think like you know there was like uh, the the dream that the boat showed uh not boat sorry the holy grail showed him like there, there were two boats like one boat had like a hole in it something like that i don't i don't remember the specifics but as like you know the holy grail does its stuff it it twists everything like if you ask like you know like uh to <clears throat> i don't know like uh, uh what can i say like he, like i'm I'm, go I'm taking a normal like you know very simple example um <clears throat> if someone asks that oh i want to be the uh fastest in my classroom the holy grail won't make him fast uh what it will do is make all the others somehow <clears throat> all the other competitors somehow drop out of the race so you're going to win either way so you're not going to uh, be fast uh, and win the race but others won't be able to participate like it twists the wish like that kind of like it's the monkey's paw if you if you've read the story monkey's paw 
you know like there's like a monkey's paw which uh, grants wishes but in a very weird and twisted manner so that's basically the holy grail so like uh, even if someone actually actually wished for something by the end it will probably the, you know the holy grail will probably twist it to its own liking and do something very bad and irreparable so who knows but i do wonder like has like there has been like you know there has been a few other holy grail wars before as well uh, like you know uh, the fourth war the fifth war the, like in the fourth war was i think um uh, the one yeah the holy grail war that we saw in phase zero that was the fourth war wasn't it i think so the next one which is the one or was it the third war I don't remember but I, I do remember the the one that uh, Shiro participated in was the fifth one uh, so by calculations in, the, in fate zero the holy girl war would be the fourth one wouldn't it I'm not sure but anyways like I do wonder like I we have seen like you know flashbacks I do remember like seeing like one of the flashbacks where uh, where was it uh, which Oh, it was, I think, in El Melo Case Files, wasn't, or, or was it? You know, they kind of showed us like a flashback or something where, <clears throat> I think Mato, and I don't remember at all, like this, like, Fate has so many things, you know, like, uh, like, I usually mix most of the stuff up, but I do remember, like, seeing, like, one of the previous um, Holy Grail Wars, I don't know what it was, was it a flashback or something? Like, there were three of them, one was one of the Eisenburns, you know, and I think the other one was Mato Zoken, and then there was this another guy. I don't remember which which anime I saw that in. They gave us a little flashback, or was it a, a game or something? I don't remember at all. But there was this thing like they where they kind of. I think it was El Melo Case Files. I think so. I don't remember, but it must be El Melo Case Files, <clears throat> where they kind of gave us a little like you know flashback and showed us what they did and everything. So, or was it Pris? No, that was not Prisma Ilya. Anyways, I'll stop thinking about it. But yeah, like, <clears throat> like the first war, the second war, like you know, like uh, who knows? Like I, at, I don't know. At least, like you know, like and uh, and I don't even know if fate actually, like you know, showed us like what happened in the first war or the second war. Is there any light novel or you know any manga reference where they actually reference that those war? Let me know. You know. Like we've all we've seen the fifth war and the war in Fate Zero. Was there any other anime or manga which kind of referenced the other wars? So yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm kind of I went on a tangent, but yeah. So that's basically the Holy Grail. It twists everything, which kind of comes like takes us to the ending part where Seihai Kun or Grail Kun, <laughs> um, Shinji says that. Um, wait, what does Shinji says? Okay, um, Gilgamesh won't listen to me. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the thing. This is the, like, you know, the thing that I was actually talking about. Like, the way the grail twists your wishes. Um, Shinji says this, Gilgamesh won't listen to me. And <laughs> the grail gives, hands him a, a, a knife. And says that, oh, this is the friend maker. If he doesn't li listen, show him who's boss. Like, you know, like, yeah, I guess that's also another way <laughs> to do it. But that's not the normal way, like you know, like if if you want to make a friend and if you ask for the the Holy Grail that you know what I want a friend, give me a friend. The Grail will basically hold you a knife and say that if if someone doesn't want to be your friend, just threaten him to become your friend. It's nice and easy, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy, that was funny. My God, ah, say hi, Kun. And and obviously that was a Doraemon reference. The, the the background that they were showing, you know, like if you've seen Doraemon, um, the room that they were in is actually Nobita's room, where like you know there's this desk where I, I as far as I can remember, I used to watch Doraemon when I was a kid. Um, the the drawer is like I think it was a time travel machine, wasn't it? Yeah, the drawer inside the drawer was a time travel machine, and Doraemon used to go in and out from there. And uh, this was always in Nobita's room and Doraemon used to hang around here and whenever Nobita would like, you know, have some problem or something, he would start crying 
and open the door come in and we're like doraemon doraemon help me i need this or i need that or this is my problem and doraemon would listen to it at first he, he would say that no i i you know you have to do your stuff on your own you know i won't help you this time you need to do it on your own but by the end of it he brings out a gadget from his pocket and he's like you know what here you go this will help you out and all the time nobita, nobita would somehow mess it up and it was, it was a great i loved like you know i loved doraemon it was, it was such a like you know i, I loved watching it when i was a kid <laughs> this this is a very nostalgic reference i like, you know we got here and uh, yeah and that was it so that was episode number nine this was my favorite episode uh and uh yeah like let's see what more episodes we get. now from here onwards i don't remember anything oh as i said i remember one thing there's that dating episode that's the only thing that i remember other than that i don't remember anything after this so let's see what happens so anyway so this was episode number nine of carnival phantasm so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of carnival phantasm until then goodbye and have a nice day